Hi guys, it's Courtney. We're at Goodwill today. Um, there was no storage unit this week, so when that happens, I typically try to find like five to 10 items, keep it under 100. So uh, we'll see what happens today. These shoes actually caught my eye from across the room. The reason being they're Nike and their tread was super colorful. Um, these were Nike Witness shoes. I only found one sold comp of these and it was for $29.99, which didn't sound bad. Um, but Goodwill was selling these for $10 and I kept looking over the shoes. There was a couple of rips and tears. Um, I just didn't think it was worth it. I put it in my cart, but then I put it back. I thought this shirt was really cool, like the graphic was super retro. Um, so when I looked it up, it was selling for $19.95 and Goodwill was selling it for $4.99. Uh, mine was in pretty good condition, so I went ahead and listed it for $25 and I can always accept an offer. I really like this item, but when I looked up sold comps, um, it was like four to ten dollars, and it was selling for four ninety nine, which it was green tag. So I really debated, and I put it in my cart, um, but I ended up putting it back anyways. I saw these vans and I got really excited. Um, typically, Goodwill prices them pretty high around here. So $10 didn't seem that bad. I looked up sold comps and they were selling from $25 to about $50. Um, when I bought them, it sounded like a good deal, but then when I came home, I realized that they weren't in the greatest condition considering of uh, Goodwill's lighting compared to LED lighting. There is discoloration to them, so I listed them for 30 bucks. This shirt immediately caught my eye because of how graphic it was. Um, when I looked at sold comps, it was like from 20 to 30 and Goodwill was selling it for $5.99, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I listed mine for 30 just because it had no stains, no holes or tears or anything, so I thought that was a good deal. I was so excited when I found a Life is Good shirt. I used to sell these all the time back at home. Um, they sold very fast. When I looked up sold comps for this one, I didn't find the exact match, but it was only $5.99, green tag, 50% off, so I went for it. And listed it for $19.99. I was intrigued when I found this Levi's jean jacket because I typically sell Levi's jeans. They do pretty well for themselves. So when I looked this up, um, they were selling about like 30 to 50 bucks. So when I listed mine for the condition it was in, I just went ahead and put it in the middle and listed it for 40. This immediately caught my eyes because it was new with tags and the tag was $99. So I went ahead and looked it up, but sadly it was only selling for $15, so I moved on. Honestly, this was an item I probably 
I shouldn't have bought, but um, it was green tag, it was 50% off, so I got it for $3. Sold comps was $13, um, but I didn't realize my competition was $9.99, but I listed it for $15 anyways, and I can always accept an offer. I was so excited when I found this 1 4th zip Patagonia uh, sweater. Um, so when I looked at sold comps, they were uh, so various. It was like $15 to like $60. In my condition, I just went ahead and listed mine for $45 because the material was kind of fluffed out, but it was still soft. Um, but I internally screamed because I was, I've been dying to find one of these, so I'm really happy I found one. I found this super cute uh, bird dogs hat for $2. eBay was selling for 10 to 20 bucks, and because mine had no wear or tear or any stains, I went ahead and listed it for $15.99. Right after that, I found this really cool digital army uh, New York Yankees hat. Um, it was selling for 10 to 30 bucks on eBay. It has a couple of light stains on it, so I went ahead and listed it for $19.99, and I only got it for $3.99. So as you guys know, I love finding Vera Bradley wallets and stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, their wallets were super overpriced, um, but I found this purse for $6.99 and for its condition, I thought that was great. This style of purse is a little older, so I just listed it for $20. I got this Montana West wallet. It was in good condition. I got it for $5 and I listed it for $20. I always love looking through the holiday stuff, but today, sadly, I did not find anything in that section. Hi. Lastly, I got that Webkin's pig for $0.99 cents and I listed it for $10. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I got really excited about the green tags and I kind of mixed up how many green tags I personally got with eBay stuff, so I thought I was getting like really good deals. It's okay. I'll, I'm still positive. Like, so I spent $72. Adding up everything, I should make about $200. <laughs> so my estimated profit will probably be, um, 130 not my best I think I just got so excited I saw the green tag 50% off and I just like I'm a little crazy there was no specific item that really stood out to me uh, a lot of this is like filler items like 10 to 15 dollars um, a couple of 30 dollar items but nothing like crazy like the last video which you guys should go check out if you haven't seen that yet thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoy catch you guys in the next one bye, bye.